Hi guys, Luke Vogue here and welcome back to the FIFA 18 player review and today we're going to be reviewing the new League SBC Al Sommer 86 rated. He cost me roughly 40,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the 6 games that I played of him he scored me 7 goals and got me 4 assists and he does have a 4 star weak force and 4 star skill moves. Getting into his in-game stats from his main standard stats are his 92 shot power, his 92 heading accuracy, his 80 finishing and his 87 strength. And guys, this card just looks ridiculous. And interestingly, very similar to Luis Suarez's card. I know Suarez has got better shooting and better dribbling, but apart from that, the two cards are very, very similar. And they were very similar to actually using game. Uh, he definitely did uh, feel a lot like Suarez. Uh, you would have seen my Suarez review. Uh, I really highly rated Suarez, and I really high rate this Al Sommer card as well. So, getting off though into the pros for this Al Sommer card for me, his first pro was his finishing. His finishing's just sensational, that's all I can say. 88 finishing, 84 attack positioning, 92 uh, shot power, 83 long shots again. I'm just not been using long shots enough this FIFA. Everybody else seems to use them with the likes of Jordan Henderson even and score fantastic goals. So maybe I need to start doing long shots again. I'll be honest, I didn't really have that many long shots of all summer, so I can't really say how he was in that area. But in terms of finishing inside the box, he is fantastic. And either on that left foot or right foot, it doesn't matter. He's got that full star uh, weak foot, which is very nice. So he can finish on either foot with uh, not too much of an issue, but that AT finishing is deadly. It's very, very nice to have uh, on the card. And a second proof for me, which I really like about this card, is his strength. 87 strength, 6 foot 4 fantastic you cannot get better than that and decent pace as well uh, it's just brilliant he's not the quickest player in the world but he's not also like an alan shearer you know he has got decent pace this all summer card and can, and then having that six foot four height and that, that 87 strength is just fantastic it also turns him into a massive aerial threat whether that be from set pieces or even from a goalkeeper kick for me goalkeeper kicks and being able to win that first initial ball from a goalkeeper kick is crucial for me in this fifa and um i didn't really have that many tall players in my attack Haji Overmars and Del Piero are pretty small players but having this Elsa at six foot four he would often win the ball and he'd be able to kind of because he's got that 92 heading accuracy he was often enabled from that initial goalkeeper kick to head the ball to one of my players and you'll be amazed how many attacks that would actually start for me it was fantastic to have that just a nice little benefit you wouldn't think it would benefit you much but actually it's very crucial and it's fantastic to have on this Alzheimer card but also that strength sometimes when he didn't quite have that pace he could use that strength to nice off the ball. really loved about that and it's just an insane card it's just perfect it is so Amazing. That's all I can say to be quite honest. And his final proof for me was his four star weak foot and four star skill moves. Skills, as you probably already know if you watch my previous reviews, doesn't really matter to me that much. I never use skills with strikers. I like to try and use them with wingers and like count strikers. I'm not bothered about uh, using skill moves with those, uh, in my opinion. Maybe I should bother doing them, but I'm not too sure. But that four star weak foot, as I mentioned before, is very nice and he's got no problem finishing on his left or right foot. In terms of cons, there's no um, con in terms of what he's like to use in game. Yes, you can throw on a chemistry style. Which increases his pace but personally his pace is fine to use uh, even without a chemistry style on him but uh, the only issue I'd have with him is that trying to fit him into a team now for me it wasn't much of an issue because I got three icons who I could easily link with this all summer card apart from that it's very hard initially I thought it was going to be pretty easy to fit him in because I actually thought at first he was Egyptian and I was going to link in Mohamed Salah with him and then just when I put Mohamed Salah's concept card in there was a red link and then I found out that El Sommer is actually from Syria which I never knew but um, so in that case it's really hard to fit him into a team but you know when you got icons it's fine however it doesn't matter about that you can easily use this guy as an impact sub even for Chum's players it should be doing this SBC card because for Binsters it's 150k to this SBC. That is wrong. 100% wrong. Now it is going to increase this uh, SBC value. Probably since I did it last night it's probably increased by maybe 10 or 20k but overall if you've got nothing in the club it's going to cost you about 80,000 coins to don't do it for the packs because the packs are dreadful from it. Do it uh, because of the type of player that you're going to be getting and that you can use them as a sub. I would recommend everyone to do this SBC. I think it's hard in your team because uh, I just think he's sensational if you want my honest opinion and I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 rating. I thought he was absolutely brilliant in my opinion. But anyway guys, that's going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.